and we are back with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Last episode, we did Defense Against the Dark Arts and Charms class. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall give for the toy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Kitty! It was Basil Flack. Ooh, fun! Fight! It's a bold attack! Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble! In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack! She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack! Peeves! Enough! You'll get us all detention! Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peeves. I wish I could have that much fun in the afterlife. Alright, anyways. Uh, where were we going? I could just have a butter beer from a free boomstick right now. Uh, where are we going? I was... I, I forgot. There's another kitty there. Revelio. What's going on here? Oh, it's just like another. I, I thought I saw something. Just some uh, hedge clippers. Hello, what Professor about Weasley. the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Bye, Deke. Ah, I like Deke already. There you are. I love Deke. I trust your first classes went well? They oh. did, Professor. They are excellent I heard classes. I as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh, hasn't Professor Fig said anything? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct. correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Ooh. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, oh, yes. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be Yay, yeah, my own wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Um. Who do we want to go with? The Gryffindor or the Slytherin? Go with Nat. We'll go with Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. 
She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. I'm guessing we go with Sebastian. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, Sebastian your friend will meet you at the Protestant castle doors. Trouble. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I want a butterbeer. Hooray, my own wand. Off on another adventure, are we? I guess we should go speak to Professor. Oh, there he is. Hello, ah, Professor Ronan. You, you have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Of course, Professor. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. But the flying page needs a this broken is the statue. right area. I wonder where the flying page is. What's this? Revelio. Lumos. There it is. Oh, Lumos. Get it. Actually, Akio. Where did, where did, where did it go? Where did where did you go? Flying page. There we go. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Professor, Professor, I thought. What are you doing, Professor? I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Oh, Let us give oh, the old you. mending charm a try, then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repair. All right, what am I repairing? These broken. Origami? That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Repair it allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a beauty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Can we go to Hogsmeade now? I want to go there. I want to go get my wand. I want a butter beer. Best just to go to the map. Okay, we haven't been anywhere near there yet. Uh. 
Hello, Hello, Natty. Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. Yes, yes, you I do. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmead experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you wow, how nice look it is how to amazing breathe fresh looks. air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, oh, believe man. me. I believe you. Oh, I, I wish we were able to do Quidditch. Elective, when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. Oh. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh. Wait, up some more? Might as well just take them. You never know when they'll be useful. How far is Hogsmeade? Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. Oh. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that Hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the Hippogriffs? Absolutely. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Yeah, we Why don't want to go off in there. Limits? Giant spiders. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I guess, yeah, if you hear something that's forbidden, you're going to be like, ooh, I wonder why course. it's there. I want to go check I that confess, out. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learned Last time we saw one of those, class, we lost our four friends. Much can be outside of the castle walls. Mushrooms. Weeping toadstool cats. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to this. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fit yet? <sighs> Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? 
Jimmy! Guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Poor Mr. Moon. A demigeist. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never Achim. seen him such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I wasn't expecting to give. They would let me choose between uh, Sebastian and Natty. Like they give me the and Hufflepuff companion. Are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer, and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Oh! I could not choose a favorite shop here. Lumos. It changes with every visit. Revelio. I can tell you that you are everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Should we get the wand first or should we get that last? Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Maybe we should get the wand last. They always say, save the best for last. So we don't want that. Ooh, tomes An and scrolling mine. Hello there, uh, Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. Good to meet you. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. What else can I get from you? Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, Peace feel free feeder, to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Chopping. Okay. I didn't care for that. Next up, we will go to We'll go there. You think you're safe now, but just you wait. Even the gentle beasts are getting
welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Revelio. All right, sorry, Mr. Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. Yes, I, I set am. Set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may yes. not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. Can I make As it's your first luck? time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? All righty. What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Invisibility or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Oh, that's all, Mr. Pippin. Have a good day, Mr. Pippin. I believe the next place is over here. Sorry, whoever's talking. I think that's the spot. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then? No, no somebody else. Weird. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But... What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Dittany's? Dittany seeds? I'm Let me guess. Dittany. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. I don't know what to buy. I don't really want to spend anything. Let's go get the one. Oh boy, just look at me run. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Merlin, oh. blooming beard. Not him. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Find oh, yes, yes, I have. In Everything about you. It's yep. a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, no. No, not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Ah, 
powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Swish and flip. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. I don't think this is my lock. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Nope, Looks I don't like need that one either. To the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. I wonder how long it, like, on average, is for a new witch or wizard to get their stuff. Uh, Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Ooh. Okay, what do I do? The one looks a little fourteen and quarter inches. How intriguing. Oh, gray, light brown. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Okay, so we have notched, classic, soft spiral, full spiral, stock, ringed, crooked spiral, Curious and natural. Indeed. How intriguing. So the spiral. Curious indeed. Oh, does it matter which one I pick or? I'm spruce, pine, walnut. Cherry How tree. Intriguing. Does the size matter as well? Twelve and a quarter Curious inch. Indeed. Consistent magic, powerful magic, great range of magic. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. What about Phoenix? Come on now. Ah, Phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Well, let's go with unicorn. What do you think? Ha <laughs> ha. 
another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. Thank I'll you, let Mr. you get Ollivander. to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Oh, what's this? Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Don't push. We'll explore later. We'll come back to uh, another day. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Uh oh. That is a troll or an ogre. That's just something. Come on, you're all witches and wizards. And there we go. Alright, new wand, we gotta kill this thing. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to wear him down! Ow! God, B! Some more, some, some more stuff to throw. Anything else?
goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Oh, I yes, suppose it's so. quite easy. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of, of course. course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair one. Sorry about throwing a bunch of boxes around. I will see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Repair. 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 Repair this. Now this is a spell I would love to have, especially if I break my glasses. What else is broken? Ah, yeah, the house. That's Repairer. right. Hello, kitty. House gets destroyed in a freak accident? No problem. Repair would to safety. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Hello we there, sir. Talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And oh, as I oh, really? suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Yeah, so what can we buy? A mask? Can we buy some scarves? What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. Yay! Nice Rebellion. Battle-worthy items. <laughs> You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who 
is this child? What are you not telling me? Yeah, who am I? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Hello there, goblin. Now, what can I... Oh. There's I a need face 20 I butter before. beers, uh, Serona? <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butter beers on me. Yes, please. Oh, we had to fight a couple trolls. Heard about the attack. Yeah. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Oh, thanks. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this <laughs> one, single-handedly took down a troll. I don't think that, that was right? injury. Well done. I don't think Thanks, I got out without being injured, but whatever. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The well, I mean, there's Randrock out deal. there. Uh, 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 not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? No. Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. It's like eight on two, sir. I said... My friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Bloodshed? I don't think anybody died today. Come, the Theophilus. I'm pretty sure the only person the got injured was me. What it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Yes, I can. Just you watch. Quick, somebody give me a spell that makes me refill my... Butterbeer up constantly. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Ah, of course. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Oh, man. I don't want to deal with anybody. I just want to Ranrock be a student. And Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Free food? Hold up. Oh, oh. Love bread. I need more bread. Let me have more bread. 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 I love bread. Excuse me. I bread. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Is there more bread somewhere? Oh, more bread. Oh, these are sweet rolls. Even better. The only one stealing the sweet rolls tonight are me. Oh. Bread. Oh, sorry, there was bread and sweet rolls in there. I couldn't contain myself. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Alrighty then, select the Hogwarts map and switch to the Hogwarts map. Go to the Hogwarts map. I don't know if I would like being near where all the food is made or if I would hate it. Because if you could just constantly smell the freshly made food there by the house elves, I think I'd cry. Well, after that lovely little uh, adventure and getting our new wand, 
um, I have to say that we can call it a, a day. So, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see all of you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.